Welcome to our play 7 billion humans episode 10 uh, We got left off at a dangerous spreadsheet thing. Okay, interesting. Okay, so this is actually quite fun. I mean, we uh, we need to add up the content, so that's relatively doable. Um, but we also need to avoid the holes. So when we see a hole, we want to move around it. Um, and we can choose whether to do that above or below, that's fine. Okay, so let's uh, step left. If the direction to the left is not uh, a hole. And if the direction to the left is not a wall, then we step left. Okay. If we're then standing on a data cube, we wanna uh, talk. And then one is whatever I'm standing on plus mem1. Um, I'm not gonna initialize this but it might crash because mem1 is empty in that case we need to initialize it to zero. Okay, so if it's not a hole and it's not a wall then we can do this. Else then it must be either a hole or a wall. If it, to the right we have a hole then we want to step up. Um, okay, actually we can, I think we could do this, likely. Let's see if it, if it works. I hope we don't fall into the hole. If we do this, then what we can do is we can... Um, so if direction there is not a hole then we step there and otherwise we step to the right uh, we need to repeat this so if we step to the right we repeat it and if we step to the left then we need to do this so if we invert the condition, we actually get to jump for free. So if it's a hole, we step to the right, else we step down, and we can do this. So, da -da -da -da. yep. So then uh, if we're here, then we, we also need a jump still. We just need to go back to... Um, Here, I guess. Um, not everywhere is a cube, so and eh, this this will work fine. Um, okay, so if it was a hole, then we would be doing this. If it's not a hole, then it must be uh, the wall. So then we can. So if it's a hole. Uh, I think I messed something up there. If it's a hole, we step there. Yeah, this should all be in this part. Yep, so then we pick up uh, whatever we're standing on. We write mem1 and we drop it. Okay, let's see. Okay, awesome. Oh, I forgot a loop. Uh, let's see, jump. So where do we need another jump? Um, uh, I guess here, right? Uh, here.
Yeah, this looks to be going fine. Awesome. Cool. A little bit over target speed wise. Mm, there's probably some mm, micro optimizations to be done. Printing etiquette one. Let's see. Uh, we need to have a conversation. <laughs> Each worker must print exactly five data cubes and place them anywhere on the floor. Okay, interesting. Um, yeah, so. We can do this two ways. You can hard code it and have it have it loop five times, right? Or we can um, uh, we can do the we can calculate it, right? So we can add one to the memory thing. Um, let's uh, let's do that because it's more fun. So nearest printer. Uh, take from that memory location okay then um, we wanna if we're s standing on an empty spot drop else um, step somewhere randomly Not winning any prizes with this, but we'll see. Uh, then we'll jump. Uh, actually, yeah, so then we'll check again. Uh, if we manage to drop something, we can go back up here. Except we need to calc. We set it to mem1 plus 1. Uh, and if. Oh, let's do this in mem2. If. M2 is equal to uh, 5, then end. Right, so we'll add 1. If we manage to count to 5, then we're good. Let's see. It's kind of inefficient, but. I guess that's the way things are. Okay, let's speed this up a little bit. Still not 25? Uh, this looks like I'm... Um, Something's wrong wrong here. Oh, mem2 is mem1 plus 1. This should be mem2. Okay. Yep, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, let's continue to printing etiquette 2. So this is where uh, you actually really need to use the, the loop. So if you didn't do that, then you need to do it anyway here. Uh, let's copy this solution. And move to printing etiquette 2. 
uh, in this case it should only be a small modification because we need to okay so instead of doing the calc before so we we calculate it then we write m2 then we drop it This actually gives sort of, of an interesting view of where they end up. You see the ones clustering in the middle and then the two twos going out. Okay, let's see. The image decryptor. Okay, this looks complicated. Let's see. Okay, we move it to the left. Okay, and we're all standing to the left of that. So let's step left, pick up the cube, um, set my item to memory one, um, then we step left. I'm gonna assume each of them says at least one. Um, then uh, we calc, so we take mem1 and we subtract uh, 1. Uh, if mem1 is equal to 0, then drop. Else we jump back and we make another step. Yeah, let's see. Ah, oh, it's a guy. Wait, what? How is this not what we're looking for? It looks quite bright. So maybe that's just me? Let's see, there's two, two steps between them. How is this not what we're looking for? Maybe this assumption is incorrect, so... Uh, let's see. So we can we can move this in here, right? So then it should still be fine. Let's see if this works. What? Okay. So this one should move to the left one tile. And so this one should one, two, three. Oh, okay. All workers must then exit the room. So let's. Uh, can we do nearest hole? Yeah, we can. Awesome. Okay. Um, so after dropping. Nearest hole, uh, step to mem1. Okay, awesome. Yeah, that confused me a little bit.
Okay, let's call it an episode. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.